So welcome everybody to room two and to what's going to be a great discussion on MHPSS. So we'll just start um, putting on some slides. We'll just go through a couple of slides and then I'll get you to introduce each of yourselves. So this is just to give us some background just so that we all are starting at the same place, which I'm sure this is all some things that you already know. So uh, what, just to review this slide that says, how do we ensure their protection and well-being amidst an infectious disease outbreak? So this is our big question. And how do we learn from what has happened in COVID-19 and, and move that into other that are coming in front of us? So the big thing, and this as you know, is the secondary impacts that related to containment and control and mitigation and the harm of the, to the lives of children and families and communities. I think one of the really big stats is coming out uh, from the UN is that 66 million more children are going to fall into extreme poverty. I heard the other day that the Gates Foundation said that in, um, in uh, 25 weeks, we have lost 25 years of improvement. And I thought that was a really powerful statement. And so there are long-term risks to children. And so much of our talk is going to be looking at mental health and psychosocial and how do we advocate for the rights of kids. And the next slide. So here we're, here we're going to look at um, looking at the mental health and psychological support that's needed for children, families, and staff. The pandemic, and also when we talk about it, also keep in mind the loss of rituals, burials, ceremonies, marriages, all that type of stuff. Okay, let's go into the room and let's um, let's go and introduce ourselves to each other. Okay, so I need your cameras on if you possibly can, so we can see you. That would be great, and your audio on. And I'll just start going on. Jessica, you start by introducing yourself, so it's very important that everybody knows who you are. Yeah, sure. I am Jessica and I'm the producer for um, a lot of the conference and in, in your session today. So she is really critical to making this work. So when we run into problems, we go, Jessica. So that's, <laughs> she's vital. Okay, next. Alia. I don't know if I've said your name right. Oh, hi. Yes, it's Alia. Okay. Um, yeah, hi there. I'm... Um... So sorry, are we just introducing our sort of... Uh, Introduce yourself and say where you're from and what your role is. Oh, okay, great. So, um, so yes, my name's Alia. I'm working with Plan International uh, with Anita and a few others on uh, in this group. Um, and I'm a deployable CPIE specialist with Plan right now. So going to the various um, countries where there are operations. Um, and I'm based in London, so I'm working from home in London right now. Oh, excellent. Thanks. Uh, Beida. Hi, everyone. Hi, my name is Beida Jabbar. Uh, I'm from Baghdad. I'm working with Child UK. Uh, my uh, position is the CM supervisor. Okay, Hi. welcome. Thank you. Najit. Hi, everyone. Uh, this is Nawajit. Uh, I'm from uh, Erbil, Iraq. I'm working with War Child UK with Baida as a production coordinator, and originally I'm from Nepal. Okay. Nice to see you all. Nice to see you. Uh, Arfa? Uh, I'm Afra. I'm joining you also from Iraq. Uh, I'm the Child Protection and Education Coordinator with the International Rescue Committee. Okay. Okay, uh, Shash Shashikala, I'm sure I said that wrong, sorry. Yes. No, it's okay, it's okay, it's correct, Shashikala. So, okay. I, good morning or good afternoon. Um, yes, here is in, I'm from Suriname, it's good morning here. 
So I'm the uh, work at the UNICEF. I'm the child protection officer within UNICEF in Suriname. Excellent. Uh, uh, Shash Nas. Shahnaz. Shahnaz. We can't. Yeah. Shahnaz Rahman, right? Working okay. with the IRC in Bangladesh as a child protection coordinator. Excellent. I love this. We're from all over the world. Um, Gilia? Kulia? No, I didn't think that. Let me speak. She Sorry, does. Judy, do you mean Julia? I think. Yes. Okay. Yes, <laughs> Julia. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Julia. Yes. <laughs> Oh, hi, sorry. <laughs> this is Julia Chilumba from IOM. Excellent. Oh, nice to meet you. Hi. Um, and uh, Shanaz, we, Shanaz, we had you introduce yourself, right? Or... Yeah, already. Okay. Right. And then we go to, I'm just looking at the, what's in front of my screen here. Ah, Amy Lean. Did I say that right? That's right. Yeah. It's just okay. Amy is fine. So I'm okay. Amy Gabriel and I am from the Philippines, but I now work with World Vision and based in the UK. Okay, excellent. Welcome. Eleonora. Hi everyone, I'm Eleonora. Uh, I work with Intersos uh, as protection advisor for Western Central Africa, but I'm based in Italy for the time being. Over to you. Thank you, Anita. Hi everyone, I'm so happy. I see a lot of familiar faces and <laughs> so yeah. I'm Anita, I work for Plan International as a global CPI advisor and I'm based in London. Thanks. Excellent. Annalisa. Annalisa? Hi everyone, uh, I'm Annalisa. I work for the IRC um, as the Senior Child Protection Advisor and I'm also based in the UK. Excellent. Sarah? Hi everyone. Um, my name is Sarah Hildrew and I work with uh, Save the Children as a Child Protection and MHPSS Global Advisor based in Denmark. And Lucia? Good morning, everybody. I am Lucia. I work for ANSI. I am based in headquarters in Italy and I am the Senior Child Protection Advisor. Anna. Anna? Sorry, did you mean? Okay, I'm Anna. I'm the working for Save the Children Sweden and based in Stockholm. And I'm the uh, Child Protection in Emergency Professional Development Program Program Manager at global level. Excellent. And who have we missed here? Uh, Nabil? Okay, can't hear you. There you go. Okay, this is uh, Nabil Ababa, uh, working for UNICEF and based in uh, Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Sandra? Hi, everyone. I'm Sandra. I'm a CAFAG advisor. I work with Plan International and I'm based in France. Excellent. Frida? Okay, you need, Frida, you need to unmute yourself. My apologies, I forgot. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm Frida. I work with World Vision International at the global level as a senior child protection in humanitarian action. Excellent. I'm based in. Where are you based? You need to unmute again. Um, I'm free. Uh, in Nairobi. In Nairobi. Okay. Excellent. Abdul. Hi, 
I think he's mute. Oh, no, no, it's not muted. He's not muted. Abdul, we can't hear you. Hello? Now you can hear me? Now I can hear you, yes. Ah, thank you. Uh, my name is Abdul Rahim, uh, Child Protection Manager, IRC, at Pakistan. In Pakistan. Excellent. And Kelly? Hello, I'm with the U.S. Department of State, the Bureau of Population, Refugees, and Migration, and I'm our Child Protection Officer, and I'm based in Washington, D.C. Excellent. Uh, has any, have I missed anybody? Oh. Yes, you missed yes, me. Yes, I missed you <laughs> <laughs> and your baby. How could uh, I miss I'm, you? <laughs> sorry, I'm on childcare duty today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I'm Agnese. I'm the CPAE program specialist for Plan UK, currently based in Italy, but normally based in London when there is not a pandemic around. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you. So welcome all to this uh, session. So we have 24 in the session. So I think, Jessica, when we go into breakout rooms, if we put uh, eight in each breakout room, but let me first of all just uh, describe um, what I want you to do. So you'll go into breakout rooms so that you can have a really good discussion. And you will have uh, on your screen this question. And this is the question to discuss. What has been done to, uh, to address the challenges with providing MHPSS to children, families, and personnel during IDOs? You will have what is going to be, uh, th that's going to be the second question that we're going to come to, but I'm going to just give you that first question. So we'll just stick with that first question, Jessica. Mm -hmm. you, you will have in front of you, uh, you'll actually have a Google slide, which you yes. need to get. Yeah, Judy, I put that in the, um, it's the second link that's in the chat. So if everyone okay. clicks on that has that open and once you're in your group you'll see which google slide to click on and it has the question there and you can type the answers in the slide below okay so you need to have someone choose someone as your recorder who will type in on your slide your answers and your discussion so when you're thinking of that question you know think really broadly i, I want you to think about what is the mh PSS that we need to think about for children and for their families and uh, the communities and then personnel. So you, we've got a big mandate in this group and that we've got to talk about all those groups. So choose someone who will record, have a really good discussion about that. And there's three rooms. So I will be coming in and out of the three rooms to help you out. Any questions? Okay, so everyone, okay. everyone is back now. Yeah. Everybody's here. Excellent, excellent. So yeah, they're all, they're all just there. We go. I'm sure well they didn't done. leave. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it always seems to be just when you get going, you have to be brought back. I'm just wondering if each group, a uh, spokesperson from each group, can just tell us what they put on the Mentimeter. So for Group One, what what did you put <clears throat> on your in your answer to your Mentimeter question? I think we were group one, if I'm not wrong. Uh, so on the Mentimeter, we put uh, train protection around technology and advocacy to the donor for funding for technology, uh, integration with other sectors, especially education and health, and involvement with the community from the very beginning and also with government and institution. Over. Okay, that's great. So let's go to what group two did what were your top three recommendations all right so that's us so the first point was to increase access to internet so that we can provide remote pss support and also improve the uh, upskills the staff to use technology that's the first point the second is working across sectors and share learning on how to uh, implement pss programming and then to um, strengthen the community-based approach and to really build up what are existing initiatives from the community. Okay, excellent. 
three really important ones. And then let's go to group three. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, we okay. can. <laughs> I'm struggling a little bit there with the mic. Um, so yeah, we said that um, MHPSS must be considered an essential service for children and caregivers um, during IDOs, especially, um, sorry, including uh, specialized services, that um, it's critical that advocacy is done with decision makers um, to, in, to consider the MHPSS needs of children and in particular children and caregivers mm -hmm. and um, increasing the focus on the mental health and psychosocial well-being of staff and volunteers. Okay, so just so you know that these three recommendations that each group is making, this is going to be going in further into uh, what we hope is a significant paper that's going to come out and really sort of impact some of the strategies and what's going to happen in the future. So your work is being well valued and we appreciate all of that. So now you have a five minute break. So you can stand up, stretch, go to the bathroom, get another cup of tea. And then at 1440, you will come back into plenary and then we will go into the next group's work. Okay, thank you so much for all, all your input into MHPSS. <laughs>